Hi everyone, welcome to lesson 3.1. This is our first lesson of unit three, which is on triangles. And today we're just gonna cover some basic information about triangles. It might be information that you've learned before, um, and we're gonna kind of use this as foundational information for other things that we learn about triangles. Okay, so the first um, foundational piece of information about triangles is called the triangle sum theorem. And this tells us what the angles in a triangle add up to. So the triangle sum theorem says that the interior or inside angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. And that's true for any triangle. So like here's a random triangle right here, and the triangle sum theorem says that this angle plus this angle, whatever number degrees this angle is, plus whatever number degrees this third angle is, has to be 180. So those three angles add to 180. Okay, so that's a pretty simple fact. Um, we're gonna use that to do a couple examples. So we're going to find the missing angles. Okay, this first one, we have a triangle. We're given two of the angles and we wanna find the third angle. So we're gonna use the triangle sum theorem. We know that all three of these angles have to add to 180. So we could do 180, take away the two angles that we have. So we could do 180 minus 110 minus 40, or sometimes people like to add the two, oops, add the two angles that they have first. So you could do 110 plus 40, that's gonna give you 150. And then to find X, we'll do 180, which is the total of all the angles take away the angles that we have, which was 150, and what's left over is 30. So X would equal 30 degrees. So 180 was the total. We took away the angles that we already had. The angle that was left over was X. Okay, so that's a basic application of the triangle sum theorem. Um, let's try another one. So for this one, we have a triangle, we have one angle, and then we're told that these two bottom angles are congruent to each other, right? Which means that they're equal. So we're gonna use that fact. Um, again, because this is a triangle, we know all the angles add up to 180. So we can start by taking our total of all the angles and take away the angle that we have. So 180 take away 44. That's going to leave us with 136. OK, so these two angles together have to equal 136, because that's what's left over from the 180. We also know that they're the same, or they're equal to each other. So we could take 136 and cut it in half, and that's going to give us x. So that's 68. So this is telling us that both of these angles would be 68. So x is 68 degrees. OK, not too bad. For the last example, we're going to work with two triangles that are overlapping each other. So we have like this little blue triangle here. And then we also have a bigger purple triangle. And they're overlapping each other and they share the angle X. So we're going to use that um, to find some of our angles. The first thing we're going to do is find X because in the little blue triangle, we already have two of the angles. We have two angles in a triangle, we can find the third angle. So to find x, we're going to do, let's see, we can add 162. So that gives us 162. That's the sum of these two. We know all three together make 180. So let's do 180 take away 162. 
and we get 18. So x is equal to 18 degrees. Okay. Now that we have x, we can use x, which is 18, the 75, and the big purple triangle to find y. So now 75 and x and y have to make 180. Okay, so let's do 75 plus 18. So we're adding the two angles of the big triangle that we already have. That gives us 93. And then all the angles in the big triangle have to make 180, so we'll do 180 take away 93. And we're left with 87. So that means y has to be 87 degrees. So for that one, we use triangle sum twice because we had two triangles. Okay, that's the triangle sum theorem.